is phenomenal. The last time I stood on a stage right here, Bartica was a village. Today, Bartica is a town. President David Alta Granger, Her Excellency, Mrs. Sandra Granger, Chairperson, Regional Officials, Special Invitees, Members of the Media, Ladies and Gentlemen, all present, especially our kids among us, a pleasant good night. Like I said, 
said, I'm here to talk to the PPPC and to encourage those supporters that do not know the truth to come to the truth that are in the dark to see the light. As I get the opportunity to travel across this region, to travel across Guyana, it pains my heart to see our indigenous brothers and sisters. When I believed in Bartica here, we were neglected. I tell you, we were better off. When I traveled to communities right across the river, Cartabo, Carao, Sakarala Bay, Falmouth, and many, many other areas. When you see the condition that these, our brothers and sisters, has been living under for over two decades, it would pain your heart. The simple thing as clean drinking water they do, did not have in their communities. And the residents of Karau that are here tonight would tell you that that has changed under the APNU AFC government. This government that I'm so very proud of to stand here tonight and represent has been a government over the past four years for each and every Guyanese. We have seen transformation in the education sector. We have seen tremendous trans transformation in the health sector. Bartica, when I stood here in 2015, the Bartica Hospital was in a deplorable state. We were losing lives just because they did not have adequate equipment. And I can tell you proudly here tonight that that has changed. From four doctors, Bartica Hospital now has 16 doctors. And those doctors are specialized and right here at Bartica Regional Hospital, you're having advanced surgeries being done. For the last year, there was no maternal death. Women now are going into Bartica Hospital to have their babies and coming out back healthy and alive. that are saying that nothing has not happened. Well, I invite them to come to Bartica Hospital because we have a lot of doctors there that can treat any ailment. And if anyone, any Guyanese can say that they have not seen development across Guyana, well, they need a medical checkup. Right here in Bar 
article, we now have countless police officers, probably close to 100. Now you understand why security is so important to us. Something that the previous government took for granted. People were being killed and robbed all over Guyana. And I want to talk to them tonight because I remember my cousin's son, Ryan Arjun Narain, that was gone down in Middleton Street. A 22-year-old University of Guyana student. And I tell you, Bartika, he was more handsome than Shah Rukh Khan. He was slain without reason. His body was left lying on the road. My cousin's only child died because we had a government that did not ensure that we were a safe and secure country. My cousin lost her only son and many of us across Guyana lose our sons and daughters to senseless killing under the PPPC government.
start hearing about buses, boats, bicycles, books, breakfast, and so much more, book bags, school supplies, and all those things. This was not by coincidence. Barteco, this was not by coincidence, Guyana. This visionary leader understood what his nation truly needed. They don't need a $50,000 handout when it's election time to bribe you the parents. vision of the APNU AFC government to truly empower each and every one of you. I remember when I was a single parent very early in 2001 and I was left to fend for my only child and there was no help. I struggled and I ensured that my son went to high school all the way out to high school but i tell you as a single mother Forever. it was not it was not easy it was a daily struggle and the apno afc government will ensure that equal opportunity is offered to each and every one this is why this election is important. We have to ensure that we secure the future of our little children. When I came up on stage, I came with a little child. Her future is at stake. Her education opportunities is at stake. And that's why I say to you, my brothers and sisters, even the ones that are on the fence, the ones that thought things were better before but now they see better i tell you there is no reason to be ashamed come on board join the winning team join the vision that will truly transform guyana to you I know the other speakers have so much to say and there is so much that I have to say but one speech will not capture it all I can talk about the development and all the things that are visible to you the 800 million dollar brand new power station the ferry selling the boardwalk so much more but I want to talk to you about mining because mining has been the backbone of this community. This community before 2015 was not built by the government. It was built on mining. And in 2010, that government, those people that are now parading in the opposition coming to you and telling you about mining, I want to remind you when all of us had to shut down this community to send a strong message. Because our children's future was at stake and we had to fight for our living, for this community. Bartica, do not forget these things. The PPP doesn't care about poor people and the picnic. The PPP only care about themselves. So come March 2nd, I urge you all, friends, family, brothers and sisters, vote wisely. Vote for the APNU AFC government to continue progress continuous development for love and unity don't stop the progress we're moving forward together vertical 
Thank you, Regent Kevin. Thank you, Guyana. Thank you.